Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I will be teaching you how to make a simple ping pong game in Scratch. So the first step is to delete the Scratch cat. I believe his, na his name is Scratchy or something, whatever. And now we need to create three new sprites. The first one is a ball to be the ping pong ball. Okay, let's name it ping pong. Okay, so the next one we need to draw a paddle. Okay, click on the straight line one and just draw a straight line. Actually, yeah, this is too big. Let's make this smaller. Uh, just like that. Okay. Wait, actually, let's just delete it. Delete it and this and create and just draw a new one right here, like that. There. Okay, great. Now let's set it to the middle. Okay, I think it's just about there. Okay, then we're good. Now we just need to create another one of these and name this a paddle. Name this paddle one and the other one paddle two. Okay, there. Now we're done the paddle we need to write a script so that we can move the paddles up and down so right now for paddle 2 all you gotta do is write this script so what this script does is when you click the green button forever if W is pressed then it will change the Y axis by 10 then if it is touching the edge then it will change Y by minus 10 which means it will bounce off the wall okay so right here it says if TS is pressed, then change Y by minus 10. And if touching edge, then change Y by 10. So, yeah, same thing, you'll bounce off. So, right now, if I try this, yeah, that works. So, for paddle 1, you do the same thing except that you change key W to up arrow and key S to down arrow and there it's all done now the next step is to that the ping pong ball be able to bounce around so to do that first go to events then bring a when flag is click block go to motion <clears throat> and do move 10 steps if on edge wait if on edge 
bounce. There. Now you just have to put a forever block on top of move ten steps and if on edge bounce. Then there. Wait. Yeah, now the ball will bounce around. But it's bouncing left to right. So to fix that, all we gotta do is click on this little info button. Then change the direction to whatever you want. But not 90, 0, 180, or minus 90. That right there, okay. Now if you click the green flag, it will bounce all around. There. Okay. Now that that is done, we need to let the ping pong ball be able to bounce off the paddles. So to do that, first, drag another one flag is click, block, then put forever if go to sensing touching paddle one then it will turn 90 degrees so it will face the other way 90 degrees and there now all you gotta do is duplicate this and change the touching paddle 1 to touching paddle 2 there now if you click the green flag again you'll see that it bounces off the paddle Cool. Nice. Now the last step of making a ping pong game is to let the game be over when the ping pong ball hits either of the sides. Okay, so I'm back and... I think I did something wrong, but it's okay. So first, we're going to create three more sprites. Okay, so just three rectangle. Okay, wait. needs to be filled in okay why is it not filling in okay there now that's good let's delete all these first wait let's erase them okay so then let's go back to this rectangle and uh, there. Okay, let's change the color to green. So click on the bucket, and then click, click on the rectangle, and there, that's green. So now, click. Okay, so now we're done this first sprite. And now let's create another one. And this one is also going to be a rectangle. But let's do a blue rectangle. And it'll be on the top. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Okay. And now we need one last rectangle. Okay. 
which is going to be red and I'm putting it right here on the right side okay there great now that we're done that we have to put them on the sides red on the right side blue on the top like that wait yeah and now green on the left side okay there okay so now all we got to do is go back to the ping pong and go and make another wait no never mind go to if touching sprite to okay wait let's rename this to green side change this wait change and change this to red side there okay so now go to ping pong go to if touching green side yeah broadcast actually we're gonna delete this game over Block. Okay. And we're gonna paint one more sprite with two costumes. Okay. So the first costume, wait, not three. The first costume is gonna say in red, red wins the game okay there okay so now let's make this bigger and for the second costume we have to write in green green wins the game exclamation mark okay let's make this bigger and there that's good so now that we got that let's put this in the middle I guess over here okay then go back to ping pong and Right, if touching green side, then don't broadcast is game over. We're gonna change it to a new message broadcast red wins exclamation mark. Okay, so now let's duplicate this again and instead of touching green side do touching red side and instead of broadcasting red wins broadcast green wins okay so now we got that go to this sprite again and Do when I receive green wins actually do when flag is clicked hide from the looks panel and 
when I receive green wins, switch costume to costume 2, which is the green wins the game costume, and show, and duplicate this again, and do when red wins, switch costume to costume 1, then show. And now at the end of both of these, do stop all. And there. I think that's it. Let's try it out. Okay. And yeah. I'm pretty sure this works. Okay, wait. One last thing is whenever you click the flag, okay, go to the ping pong sprite and do another one flag clicked. Go to X zero Y zero. And that's the very center. Okay, there. I think that's it. So, thank you for watching this video. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave a comment below on what I should do next time. See you next time. Bye!